पवर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स लैब इन पवर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एक्सपेरिमेंट नंबर टू सिंगल फेस अनकंट्रोल डायोड रेक्टिफायर लर्निंग आउटकम्स अंडरस्टैंडिंग द सिमुलेशन ऑफ पावर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक सर्क्यूट इन सिमलिंग अंडरस्टैंड दि पवर जी आई ब्लॉक फॉर एफ एफ टी एनालिस ऑफ द सर्क्यूट सिमुलेटेड अंडरस्टैंडिंग द हार्डवेयर इम्प्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ पवर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक सर्क्यूट सर्क्यूट डायग्राम ऑफ सिंगल फेस अनकंट्रोल डायोड रेक्टिफायर एंड मॉडल वे फॉर्म मैटलॉप सिमुलेशन इम्प्लीमेंटेशन ऑन आर एंड आर एल लोड इनपुट वोल्टेज फिफ्टी पीक इक्वल टू थर्टी फाइव पॉइंट थ्री फाइव आर एम एस एंड फिफ्टी हेच आर वैल्यू ट्वेंटी फाइव ओम्स इन द आर एल लोड एल वैल्यू सिक्स मिली हंड्रेड दिस इज अ ब्लॉक डायग्राम ऑफ सिमुलेशन मैटलैब नाइनटीन इयर्स सिमुलेशन ब्लॉक एंड पॉथ सो यूजिंग दिस पॉथ सो यू हेव टू सेलेक्ट ऑल द ब्लॉक्स नाउ विल डू द सिमुलेशन डबल क्लिक मैटलैब आईकॉन डेस्कटॉप नाउ आफ्टर ओपनिंग मैटलॉप गो टू सिमलिंग डबल क्लिक सिमलिंग सिमलिंग स्टार्ट पेज इन दट ब्लॉग मॉडल डबल क्लिक ब्लॉग मॉडल नाउ युअर मॉडल इज ओपन विथ अनटाइटल दिस मॉडल यू हर टू सेव विथ सम फाइल नेम फॉर दिस गो टू फाइल सेव एस एक्सपेरिमेंट टू ई एक्सपी टू सेव now your model is saved with experiment 2 this is your blank model now here you are designing your simulation circuit for this you need any blocks for this go to library browser double click library browser now power electronics path is select first simscape under simscape electrical specialized power system fundamental block in fundamental block power gi power electronics block measurement elements and electrical sources first select as a electrical source in that select ac voltage source add to model elements Select series or LC branch. Add to model. Measurement. Voltage measurement. Add to model. Current measurement. Add to model. Power electronics. Select diode. Add to model. Now you need an RMS and mean block for this. Click on. Control and measurements. In that, select measurement. Select mean. Add to your model. Select RMS. Add to model. Now you need an a bus selector for this. Under simulating, select commonly used block. Select. bus selector add to model you need an a scope and display for this go to sync select scope add to model select display add to model now in fundamental select power l power gi add to model now we'll see all the blocks we received so now separate all the blocks
now we need an a four diodes so first this one you have to rotate control r select three more diodes select and drag to here now first we will join the cathodes anode to anode this anode to this cathode anode to cathode now we will give the ac voltage to circuit from ac voltage source one terminal to here second terminal of ac voltage source to here now we can connect as a input current current measurement input now one more current measurement now first select as a r load sorry i chosen wrong elements series or lc branch double click this series rlc branch in that select r r value is 25 rotate this one press control r connector to this point now load other terminal to now this voltmeter you can connect to input volt measurement this voltmeter measuring across the load voltage now we want to see the diode voltage and diode currents this one label it as a d1 this is d2 this diode is d3 this is d4 now we can see the during positive of cycle negative of cycle so we can observe the d1 d2 diode volts and diode currents now this bus selected to d1 e terminal now double click on bus selector remove unknown signal add our signal diode voltage diode current apply and okay 
again connect to diode 3 e terminal double click this one remove unknown signal select diode voltage select diode current apply and ok Now we can double click the scope, add input terminal to scope for this, go to configuration properties, number of input power to 4, layout, apply and ok. Now first two is as a D1 diode voltage. Second is D1 diode current. Now third one is D3 diode voltage. Fourth one is D3 diode current. Again this scope also you have to double click. Go to configuration properties. Number of input to 4. Layout or apply and OK. Now first one is connect as a input voltage. Second one is output voltage. Third is a input current. Fourth is a circuit current. Now you need a numerical values. So from the output of voltage terminal, now connect to this one mean to here. From RMS block. Now these two measuring as a output mean and RMS, these two as a output current of mean and RMS. Now you have to double click mean of this block. So fundamental frequency 50. Apply OK. RMS block also 50. Apply OK. 50. Apply OK. Fundamental frequency 50. Apply OK. Now here the simulation time is 10 seconds so you have to select give as a 0.5 second. Now you have to save your simulation file. Now run your simulation by pressing run button. You got an a mean voltage, RMS voltage, mean current, RMS current. Now we will see the input and output voltage currents in the scope. Double click scope. Now we can label the this as a input voltage for this right click on the waveform. Go to configuration properties in the signal label. Give as a input. Input voltage. Now second wise 
output voltage apply and okay now third as a input current input current apply ok this is as a output current apply and ok from this label you can easily understand which waveform is like that so input voltage output voltage input current and output current now this one you can take a screenshot and save in the folder now we have to do fft analysis of the output voltage for this go to configuration properties in that login check log data to workspace save format structure with time apply and ok now close this window now we change the scope parameters again save your file again run your simulation by pressing run button now have to do as a FFT analysis for this go to power GI double click power GI in that tools FFT analysis now we are not appear any waveforms for this go to model configuration pro parameters select data import and export uncheck single simulation output apply and ok now run your simulation again by pressing run button Now double click power GI tools FFT analysis. Now first as a input select as a second input 2. Now this has a output voltage fundamental frequency 50. Now the output fundamental frequency now it has a 100. and display style list relative to fundamental and display now at 100 edge that is your fundamental frequency of output voltage now DC compound and is 20.08 fundamental 14.7 on peak in the 10.4 RMS now TSD 22.50 percentage now we want to calculate second harmonic select as a 200H when it is in 100% you got any these values of DC component RMS component now second harmonic 19.91 percentage according to this percentage you have to calculate the DC component and RMS component now we will go for third harmonic at 300 H the percentage 8.43 now you can calculate these values for this percentage now take a screenshot of this one save in the folder now we will do as a RL load so 
डबल क्लिक ऑन सीरीज और एल सी ब्रांच ब्रांच टाइप सेलेक्ट एज ए और एल नाउ एल वैल्यू इज सिक्स मिली अप्लाई एंड ओके नो नीड टू चेंज दिस रिमेनिंग सर्क्यूट नाउ इंस्टेड ऑफ और यू आर कनेक्टिंग एज ए और एल लोन रन यूर सिमुलेशन बै प्रेसिंग रन बटन नौ डबल क्लिक स्को इनपुट वोलटेज आउटपुट वोलटेज इनपुट करंट एंड आउटपुट करंट यू कैन टेक ए स्क्रीनशॉट दिस आउटपुट्स अक्रॉस आर एल लोड आउटपुट वेब फॉर्म्स दिस आउटपुट वेब फॉर्म आल्सो विल डू एज ए एफ एफ टी एनालिस गो टू पवर जी आई टूल्स एफ एफ टी एनालिस रिफ्रेश एयर एंड सेलेक्ट एज ए इनपुट टू एंड फंडामेंटल फ्रीक्वेंसी हंड्रेड डिस्प्ले स्टाइल इज लिस्ट रिलेटेड टू फंडामेंटल डिस्प्ले नौ हंड्रेड एच दट इज फंडामेंटल नौ डीसी कॉम्पोनेंट ट्वेंटी वन पॉइंट वन फंडामेंटल फोर्टीन पॉइंट सेवन वन पी इन द टेन पॉइंट फोर आर एम एस टी एच डी ट्वेंटी टू पॉइंट एट जीरो नौ कैलकुलेट एज ए सेकेंड हारमोनिक नौ ट्वेंटी पॉइंट जीरो नाइन परसेंटेज कैलकुलेट अकॉर्डिंग टू दीज वैल्यूज थर्ड हारमोनिक एट थ्री हंड्रेड एच द परसेंटेज इज एट पॉइंट फाइव सेवन परसेंटेज यू हेव टू कैलकुलेट दीज वैल्यूज एट एट पॉइंट फाइव सेवन परसेंटेज टेक ए स्क्रीनशॉट सेव इन द फाइल नाउ यू हेव टू डबल क्लिक दिस को Now here, diode voltage, diode current of D1, diode voltage, diode current of D3. These two are positive of cycle. These two are negative of cycle. This one also you take a screenshot, save in the file folder. After finishing of your simulation, you have to add attach in the result file. एफ एफ टी एनालिस डबल क्लिक पवर जी आई टूल्स एफ एफ टी एनालिस सेलेक्ट एज ए इनपुट करेंट डिस्प्ले स्टाइल बॉर रिलेटिव टू डी सी कॉम्पोनेंट एंड डिस्प्ले Now previously we are selected as a list relative to fundamental. This is a bar chart. So this one also take a screenshot and save in the folder. This you saved all the screenshots attached in the result file. Hardware implementation on our load for this you required as a power module. Second one is SCI diode power module. Third is resistive load. Fourth is digital storage oscilloscope. Now in the R load resistance value is twenty five. Now here zero to this blue terminal fifty ohms. Two resistor fifty ohm connected parallelly. Now that equivalent value is twenty five ohms. Hardware implementation on R L load. For this you required as a power module. एस सी आर डयोड पवर मॉड्यूल आर लोड एंड आर एल लोड आर वैल्यू इज ट्वेंटी फाइव ओम्स एल इज सिक्स मिली हेनरीज बिटवी अक्रॉस आर एंड एल आर स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट एंड एल एंडिंग पॉइंट यू हेव टू कनेक्ट युअर डिजिटल स्टोरेज आसलोस्कोप प्रोप टर्मल नौ वी आर मेजरिंग अक्रॉस द आउटपुट वोलटेज अक्रॉस दि आर एंड एल In the power module, so we are getting three-phase supply, single-phase supply, DC supply. In that, you have to choose single-phase supply connected to input side of the MCB. 
from the output side to this diode cathode D1 cathode to D4 anode D3 cathode to D2 anode D1 D3 anode join connected to load of the one terminal D4 D2 cathodes connected is connected to L other terminal now between cathode and anode is joined we are giving as a phase supply and D3 D2 join there we are giving as a neutral supply terminal now during positive of cycle D1 and D2 conducting during negative of cycle D3 and D4 is conducting now this has a hardware port this will do in physically on the hardware kit now we'll do the hardware on single phase uncontrolled diode rectifier for this you required as a equipment first one is power module and SCR diode power module resistive load inductive load and digital storage oscilloscope in power module you required as a single phase voltage source and in SCR diode power module diode 1 diode 3 diode 4 diode 2 using these four diodes we are constructing as a single phase diode uncontrolled rectifier now we will make the connection using BNC connectors now from the AC voltage source to input of the MCB phase to phase neutral to neutral from the output of MCB phase and neutral terminal now first we will make the diode connections D1 cathode to D4 anode D3 cathode to D2 anode D1 D3 anodes join D4 cathode D2 cathodes join where D1 and D4 anode and cathode joining there will you will connect as a phase terminal and D3 and D2 anode and cathode joining point connect as a neutral terminal from the anode both the anodes of D1 and D3 connected to one of the low terminal that is as a negative D, D4 and D2 cathode joining point to load other terminal now the load resistance value as a 50 so we have a 50 ohm resistance connected to 50 ohms resistors in parallel then equivalent value as a 25 ohm now R value is 25 ohms now connect this probe terminal positive to as a 50 terminal that is positive terminal probe positive terminal and at zero terminal connect as a probe negative terminal now we will make apply the voltage to circuit switch on three phase main supply 
switch on meter switches switch on power modules mcb switch on ac voltage source switch on scr diode power module now slowly increase the voltage to 35.35 by pressing plus button while applying you can observe the output voltage across r load Thirty-five point three or four as a RMS voltage. Now we can observe the from the output waveform RMS voltage, mean voltage. Now we can see. Now observe the output voltage. Now your input frequency is fifty, but output voltage at hundred hertz. Now we'll, when we doing as a FFT analysis, the fundamental frequency as a Hundred hertz. Now you can save this waveform in the PC. Open Choice Desktop. Double click and select Instrument in that USB type. OK. Now it is detected that TDS 2002B and Get Screen. now you got an output voltage across the load now these are the mean rms mean and output frequency this waveform you have to save as by pressing save as button now we'll do output voltage fft analysis for this press mass function and press cursor button when the cursor is on now you type is frequency here cursor 1 highlighted cursor 2 we are not using only with the help of only one cursor will measure the frequency now fundamental frequency adjust the cursor fundamental frequency as a 100 at fundamental 100 hertz now db value is 23.1 this value we have to convert into v fundamental rms this fft waveform you have to capture in the pc and open choice desktop open select instrument select usb okay and get screen now at fundamental 100 h this is a db value now this waveform you have to save by pressing save as button now we'll do as a second harmonics the second harmonic will get at 200 hertz use this cursor move to 200 hertz at 200 hertz the db value is 9.05 db take this db value and convert into v fundamental rms now we'll do third harmonic adjust the cursor to 300 hertz at 300 hertz the db is 2.25 value and take this db value and convert into v fundamental rms now we are done as a r load circuit now we'll do as a rl circuit for this make it of scr diode power module mcb 
now remove one of the load terminal and connect from load one terminal to inductor one terminal between red and block terminal the inductance value is 6 milli henries and this one connect as a other terminal of inductor terminal now we can measure across voltage r and l r starting point and l ending point and resistance value is 25 ohm make it on circuit on mcb on and select channel 1 and this output voltage across r and l now can adjust the voltage to 35.3 now you got an output at rl load and from this you want to measure as a mean and rms values press measurement button from this waveform as a rl output and find the rms value and mean value frequency these waveform you have to capture in the pc open the open choice desktop select instrument select usb okay and get screen now this output voltage across r and l these are the rms mean and frequency values now we will do as a output voltage fft analysis press mass function and press cursor button adjust this cursor to and under it as a fundamental now cursor is placed at 100 edge the db value is 23.1 db this value can convert into v fundamental rms the fft waveform have to also you have to capture in the pc open and select instrument select usb okay get screen at fundamental 100 hertz is a db value now we will do as a second harmonics at 200 hertz change the cursor position to 200 hertz at 200 hertz the db value is 9.05 db convert into v fundamental rms now we will calculate as a th third harmonic place the cursor to 300 hertz at 300 h the value is 2.65 dv and this value you can convert into v fundamental rms now fundamental frequency and second harmonic and third harmonic all these values you are calculated as a v fundamental rms these values you have to place in the tabular column now we are done as a single phase uncontrolled diode rectifier with r and rl load then make it off your circuit to off mcb and bring back to voltage to zero make it off 
power module MCB off and meter switch, switch off the main three phase supply. Now results of R and RL load. Now we are done in simulation. Now you got an uh, results that you have saved in some folder. So here you are attached the waveforms of input and output voltage, input current and output current. That is the first one. Second one attaches the waveform diode voltage, diode current of both the positive off cycles and negative off cycles. Attaches the FFT bar chart along with the corresponding waveform for input current in symlink. Attaches the waveform of output voltage. FFT analysis, FFT plotted, fundamental frequency, 100 edge. This is after finishing of this as a hardware port experimentally. So this one after doing done the hardware port here you have to attach the result file. Observations of R and RL load. Calculate performance parameter in the symlink. Now this here you have to place the RMS values, uh, all the uh, RMS values of voltage and current, average voltage, average current, form factor, ripple factor, R load and RL load, FFT analysis of the R load, RL load. Observations of R and RL load, calculating performance parameter from experimentally. R load values, RL load, FFT analysis of R, FFT analysis of RL load. These are the formula, form factor, ripple factor, TSD calculation, VEAC RMS, V fundamental RMS. Thank you.